Hello, everybody. Uh, this is me again, Fausto from Cybertrain University. Uh, we just got a very big, big request regarding about the NASDAQ uh, total view. And uh, you've probably seen the first video. It actually was, it's actually been a very popular video. Didn't know it was going to be as popular. And uh, I basically came out with one part of it. And now I want to come up with a second part of it. I want to explain to you the importance of the book viewer. Now, um, for some of you probably don't know what the book viewer is it's basically i kind of call it my version of a level three of trading and in the book viewer you're going to notice that there is some very important uh features on it that's going to help you you know kind of follow the money because that's how trading works now i'm a day trader uh, and day traders what we look at and remember i've been doing this for 25 years we all look at following the money finding where the dominated market makers and everything else and what happened over the years a lot of ecns which is what a book viewer is it's uh, stands for electronic communication electronic communication network uh, basically it's where everyone could put their orders you could put your orders out there so I kind of went over a little bit of a uh, an introductory version of it in the first video and uh, it's been over you know I think over a year now maybe more that people kept requesting where's the second one so I want to do a second one want to go over it and show you a little bit more about it a little more detail on it so basically, if you notice here, um, this is actually the home page of NASDAQ's website. And um, you can see there you have all the features right here on the left-hand side. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and log in, okay? And you can see right here, he has a little bit of a description, exactly if you want to read more about it, what exactly it is. And all I can tell you is this, guys, that the book viewer is, you know, the, the, the exchange, these ECNs make up, close to almost 70 percent of the volume now i know everyone uh is looking for free stuff and i'll be honest with you guys you can't be trading on free stuff free stuff is the reason why it's free because that's all it's worth now the, the nasdaq book viewer for non-professional it's it's cheap it's like 15 dollars a, a month and um you know, and by the way, I'm not getting promoted by NASDAQ. I have nothing to do with NASDAQ, but I'm just here to try to tell you where to find level three because that's one of the biggest things we teach at Cybertree University. So you can actually go to NASDAQ's website, buy it, $15 for non-professional. Professional means that if you're like a stockbroker, you know, if you're a professional, uh, you know, in it, they, they have a full explanation of it. But, uh, but when you go there and you download, what's going to happen is um, uh, actually let me click over here on book viewer. And just want to do step by step and show you what's going to happen. So what's going to happen is uh, where did it go? There we go. Let me log. Oh, let me just log out and log back in again. All right, we click launch over here on the bottom right hand corner. You see it right here. We're going to click launch, and what that's going to do, it's going to open up a browser. OK, it's a totally separate window. Now, I'm going to X out of this because we don't want to get distracted. And basically right here, you're looking at the NASDAQ book viewer. So I want to just tell you how you're supposed to customize it, because uh, let me just show you what happens. If you click over here, make expand it. I don't know. I don't like that. OK, let me bring it over here. And if you click on select columns, if I put all if I check all these boxes, you're going to notice it's going to pick up all this windows. I mean, like all this stuff, it's going to tell you the time, the market maker, the the market value, the the the, the total, the shares. The bit. This is all just overkill. And this is why a lot of people get confused when they look at trading. And that's why a lot of people use charts, because they look at these numbers and they're like, what the hell is all this stuff? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here. I'm going to show you how I customize it. Uh, first of all, I don't care about what time was the last time there was a new post put Put on the book viewer uh, I really don't care about the NASDAQ because it's all NASDAQ you know so I'm gonna uncheck that one um, market value of buys and sells that doesn't really Im is important to me and uh, I think that's about it let, let me just uh, I think I got everything you click apply okay so now you got three columns which is realistically what you need now what you're seeing right here is that you're seeing you're seeing the levels right here. You're seeing like um, these are as of right now, like looking, we're looking at NASDAQ. Let me look at something a little bit slower for you. Uh, maybe JD. 
you know, stock JD. Okay, so in the stock JD right now, it's trading at 2907. And if you look over here on the left, these are the buyers and these are the sellers. And when you look over here on the left hand side, this is real time data, by the way, this is exactly what's happening on the market right now. And you can see that there are about roughly, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six people that are looking to buy it. Um, at 2908 and you can see it's changing uh there's several people here buying it at seven at 2907 uh probably like 15 people and these are the amount um basically this is what you have as in the amount of shares that looking to be bought um and the bid now what i do is this i really don't care how many people are bidding for it you know um how many people are making up that are trying to buy it at that price. So if I go out there, I will go out there. So I'm going to uncheck this box right here. And what I'm doing is I'm aggregating the orders. What that's doing is it's taking all 10 orders. By the way, uh, let me just check out totals because I really don't care total buys and total sells. It's really the three ones right there. There we go. Click OK. Click on com. All right. So basically what I care about, I don't care about the 13 buyers out there looking to buy it at 2808 which is if i unaggregate that again that's what it looks like okay i because what happens i lose the depth uh underneath it and um it's not how many orders that make the stock go up and go down it's the amount of shares remember one thing is very important how stocks go up and go down is supply and demand so right here you have a lot of supply and demand and then what we're looking for is on the shares and that is what makes uh makes a support and resistance levels so one thing that um i i came up with a word i kind of invented this word about like almost like 20 years ago watching a show called uh, a movie i'm sorry called the titanic uh how did titanic sink the most unsinkable ship it got sunk by a iceberg so i came out with this word icebergs and what we and what i teach you know here with my traders is we try to find these iceberg orders and these iceberg orders are what we're looking at over here on the book viewer we're looking for those big block orders because remember when you look at a chart which i'm going to make another video um it's going to come up next right after this and you know when we look at a chart we want to see where you know we, we're basically looking for support and resistance levels what well, what really makes support and resistance levels buyers and sellers right so when you look at here on total view um you're noticing like for example sellers you got 3,000 shares you know 3,000 um 2,700 1,700 made up 12 orders 12 different people out there so you know but that doesn't really you know it's a lot of shares but you know really is a lot of shares the the, the nine different orders out there of the person that's trying to sell 16,000 shares at $29.19 or the guy that's looking to sell there's 34 orders of 20,000 shares at 29.50 or how about this one the two really big orders are down here 29 uh 29 and 29 30 13 000 shares and 62 different orders out there making 42. that ladies and gentlemen is what you call a iceberg order now once again how do stocks go up and go down supply and demand so what do we look at on total view we look at uh, on the on the on the book viewer we're looking for big big iceberg orders we're looking for you know things that are going to prevent the stock from going higher or things that are going to help support it from not going any lower. So there is your basic uh, uh, explanation of what is the book viewer, what we're seeing. Now, if you want to subscribe to me, go down to the bottom, click subscribe. I'll send you another alert on this because I'm going to get in more detail about the book viewer. And I'm going to compare it with other platforms, specifically like the, tr the TradeStation platform, uh, which has a better book viewer, which is which is more of an in-depth level three and i'm going to show you how to how to apply it towards a chart and see how these big iceberg orders are how they affect the actual chart itself all right so once again if you enjoy this video click that you like it share it with your friends and look for the next one that's coming up thanks everyone